Hi Capricorn, how's it going? And welcome to your March general reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Capricorn, welcome all. I'm so glad that you're here. Capricorn, as we always do, if you're interested in your love reading where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love or could be in a relationship with that person, we unpack everything that's going on in your love life in the love reading. It's always the first link in the description box below if you'd like to join us for that one. Also, don't forget to stick around till the end of the reading because I might pick your name. Yes, you. You could be the winner of the pick a card. Um, I do them completely at random as my way to say thank you for all of your support, Capricorn. So I don't know. Who's going to win the pick a card this time? I have like no idea. We'll have to wait to the end and find out. All right. I'm just being silly. It's Pisces season, so it is just time to play for me. It's my season. Um... All right, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got three more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Capricorn? Also, Venus is in Pisces right now, so if any of y'all are feeling just extra emotional, especially in relationships, and I don't mean just romantic relationships, it can also be in, within your family, relationship with yourself, friendships, that kind of thing, just... Venus is in Pisces. Things are just emotional right now, okay? Uh, we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Y'all are on fire. Y'all are definitely moving forward with something. You have major goals that you, I'm hearing, are achieving right now, Capricorn, this King of Wands energy. Some of you could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but I, I'm hearing boss daddy kind of energy. Like you're definitely, male or female watching, like you have this like boss energy to you where you are just going to go after whatever it is that you desire. Nothing is going to stand in your way. Um, I mean, I'm even hearing like what competition, like you're, you know, like you're, you're like, no one's better than me. I'm only competing with myself. If there's like something that you're trying to get versus somebody else, it's like, you're like, I'm not even worried about that. I'm only looking at my lane and what's going on with me. What's going on Capricorn? What is the starting energy here? We have the Ace of Pentacles to start your reading. So something is, I'm hearing birth. Something is about to birth or birthing. Some of you literally could be finding out you're pregnant. Um, and that is definitely a seed um, that will last a lifetime for sure. But I definitely feel like you are planting a new seed in something right now, either in a connection, in a new job, a new, I'm hearing, experience. Okay, but I definitely feel like with this Knight of Cups, it could lean towards something romantic. But either way, I do love the Ace of Pentacles starting your reading where you just basically with this energy, you're seeing opportunity everywhere. It's like when we get the Ace of Ace of Cups and you're like, gosh, just just even on my drive today, there was this group of flowers and then the, there was a rainbow over there. And you just saw like the, you saw the light and everything. I'm also feeling in your in your reality, uh, Capricorn, that you are seeing, you're seeing opportunity in everything. You're seeing opportunity in all of your friendships. Where can we go with this? We can do anything. Where can I go in this career? You're seeing opportunity everywhere with a Knight of Cups energy because you're coming from a place of love. Woo, this feels so good. What's crossing this for Capricorn? The star card, this is about achieving your highest, highest desires and dreams, okay? Some of you could be connecting with, um, with an Aquarius here, but I feel like the sky is the limit with these two kind of energies here. These are like whatever it is that your wildest dreams are, plant a seed today because I feel like it can literally go wherever it is that you want it to, okay? What's the true focus here for Capricorn? We have you, this is the devil, which is your energy, okay? So it's like you're focused again. I saw with that King of Wands, it's like, if you're trying to go get, you know, I'm, I'm really after this one person, I really wanna start this business, or I really wanna work for that thing, or I really wanna work on my health, whatever it is that you're going for, there's no competition except for you. I kind of just feel like it's you versus you. It's like almost like mastering yourself okay because the devil is what <clears throat> the master you're not great at something you master it. you're not the best at your job you're the best at it you know what i mean like you're not you and and i love the nine of cups here it's like you are getting such a wish fulfillment with something that you are desiring and something that you are in control of 
what's been in the past here for Capricorn? Ace of Wands. And I feel that. I feel this Ace of Wands so much in y'all's reading. In the recent past Ace of Wands, y'all felt a spark. You felt excited about something that really, really got you going. Three of Wands. It's like, it's like you were waiting on something and in the recent past, okay, I got it. Okay, I feel it. And now I'm going to get moving in something. I almost feel like you heard from someone um, or you even got like some type of message or some, I'm hearing approval for something and you're like, okay, my turn now, time to go. And we're going to clarify and go deeper with all these in just a moment. Six of swords in your crowning energy. You are definitely moving forward in a situation, okay? Whatever has been holding you back is no longer holding you back any longer. And I say that with confidence with the world card here, you are wrapping up old cycles and I'm even hearing old ways of you to kind of rebirth a new version of yourself, to go master life in a whole new, brighter way. Oh, Capricorn, this is a really powerful and good reading. What's in the future energy here? Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Knight of Cups. Also in your future with the Emperor. Some of you, I'm hearing expectation. Some of you need to let go of some type of expectation in your love life. And it starts with expectations of you, how you're showing up for yourself in love. Okay, so I, I, and we're going we're gonna to explore that here in just a minute. And we'll go much deeper in the love reading with your other person's side. But I kind of feel like there, if there is like a love, romance, romantic situation going on with you right now, specifically Capricorn, I kind of feel like you need to let go of someone, of someone else's expectations. Like if you're in a relationship with someone and like mom and dad don't approve of like what they do for work or who they are as a person or whatever, we're releasing the expectation. We're releasing what mom and dad think is right. We're releasing what society thinks is right. We're releasing all of those old stories and the old ways and we're coming into truly mastering our own energy capricorn and we're moving forward with that and again love is right around the corner for you but it starts it does start with releasing expectations what is capricorn's truest power here tower to change the world to change everything here i feel like within within this change and shift within yourself um it's like as above so below as within so without is that how it goes don't quote me on that. I do feel that the three of swords in reverse, it's like you're breaking out of some type of painful cycle and coming into a new chapter of love and loving yourself. I do want to get one more because this is a very intense, intense energy, intense card. Also, some of you could be directly dealing with a Scorpio. Chariot moving on moving forward rapidly okay um and i am noticing here there's a black horse and a white horse the light and the dark the feminine the masculine the moon the sun i don't know why it's coming through that way and i do feel like i'm also hearing acceptance okay for some of you 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 might need to i'm hearing accept who you are accept where you're at so that you can move forward Ooh, this is really 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 a beautiful reading what is hidden in Capricorn's environment? Please don't go on the floor again. Catch it. Five of Pentacles. Someone is super, super feeling, I'm hearing single or without, lonely, without you. Three of Pentacles. Could, you, could be someone you were building your life with or are building your life with. But they they feel lonely. The Someone feels very lonely without you. Let's get another one with that. What is hidden in Capricorn's environment? We also have the Page of Wands. Well, this person, someone wants some type of fresh new start with you, or they could, there could be, excuse me, they could be, there could be distance between the two of you. There could have been a separation. I am seeing really focusing on the key over here and then the lock. And I do feel like romantic. It's like someone's got the key to your heart or vice versa. You have the key to someone's heart. Um, but I, I'm hearing the reason why the five of pentacles, the reason why there was distance or separation. Um, Page of wands. Someone's acting very immaturely. Okay. But then the full card is there. Someone wants to dive back in. 
What are the hopes and fears here for Capricorn? Hopes and fears. Six of Cups. This is a past energy. This is a soulmate energy that this person from the past will, yeah, Emperor will come back together because you've made plans about this. Hopes and fears here for Capricorn. Six of Wands. It will be, you have two sixes here. Beautiful. Okay, I think my, yeah, dad's here. My dad's here. Um, his birthday is, was, was June the 6th. Um, and he, he likes to pop in from here and there. He's in spirit. Um, but yeah, he's definitely telling you guys that this will be a, victor a, a, a victory here. You know, the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands is beautiful energy. The Six of Cups is this like soulmate. I think of this person, they make me smile. Very nostalgic uh, energy of, of something from the past really working out here. So I kind of feel like your person feels like lonely and sad without you. They do also with this page of wands, I am feeling like this full energy, like they want to take a risk or take a chance on you or with some type of situation with you. Okay. And when they do that, that's where we're getting the six of wands of a victory. So it's kind of like if this person um, does something or reaches out, whatever that action it's coming across as an action. Whatever that action is, it will like win you over. Um, what's the outcome here? And then we'll, let's go in and clarify outcome for Capricorns. Queen of Wands. And we have the Eight of Wands. So I do feel currently like there's some type of long distance communication between you and somebody. But I also feel like Capricorn, like you really are in full communication with your angels and guides, your higher self, God, spirit, the light, whatever it is that you connect with spiritually, you're in full communication with source because they're giving you all of this information. Okay. I feel like for like a lot of you dreams is coming in. Eight of wands is not normally a dreams card, but intuitive, intuitively they showed me a lot of you are receiving messages in your dreams right now. Okay. Let's break this down a little bit more. Let's go back to your Ace of Pentacles here. This is that new seed here. What is this Ace of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Why is this here? Five of Swords in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. There's been some toxicity around you recently, Capricorn. Um, probably with the Five of Swords, probably people, okay? co-workers, family, could be a part, like, it doesn't matter who it is, it's your general. You needed to like really separate yourself from that so that you could, I'm hearing focus, focus on you, focus on King of Pentacles, your career, focus on something about you and your career. Um, let's get one more with this. What's the opportunity here though? Knight of Cups. The opportunity is love. The opportunity is is love. The opportunity is love. Romance, proposal, taking things to the next level, which absolutely is a wish fulfillment star card, the highest wish fulfillment that you could possibly have here. Look at what's crossing this. What's the crossing energy star card? Page of cups. And the three of wands came out in reverse because there was a delay here, but the delay wasn't about anything, but someone just jumping in and saying yes. Okay, five of pentacles is here again. For a lot of you that I'm connecting with, you and somebody, you and a romantic partner, you and a family member, you and a friend, please keep in mind these are general, you and somebody have been at a distance and there's been a delay and y'all coming back together. But when you do, it's gonna be, I'm just hearing, I'm hearing a grand gesture, but it's gonna be grand. Uh, anything else on the star card here? Nine of Cups wanted to come out. The Nine of Cups wanted to come out, but instead they gave us the Ten. The Ten of Cups. This is something, probably a person. It's been a slow road, a slow go with this Knight of Pentacles. But I do feel like this is like a person, a job, a situation of your dreams. I'm seeing, I'm please don't say this wrong way. As like, as like spirit is showing me like y'all drooling at the mouth. Like that's how much this means to you. You're just like, oh, it's mine. I won't let You know what I mean? Why is the devil here for Capricorn? Eight of wands in reverse. And now we have the eight of wands bottom of the deck. So I do feel like, again, those of you that it could be 
I'm hearing on the outs with someone, not in good graces with someone. Uh, potentially you or the other person could have blocked each other. Um, yeah, there's definitely been some blocked messages or major miscommunication with you and somebody. Okay, so like that's the focus is let's fix it. That's what I'm picking up with your Capricorn energy. He's telling me I want to fix that. Someone said something didn't mean or there was a miscommunication. We are also, keep in mind, just coming out of Mercury retrograde. Okay, so there could have been some, I'm hearing assumptions, and someone wants to fix what someone was assuming. Okay, someone wants to fix a communication. Why is the devil here for Capricorn? Uh, five in reverse? Is it the five of cups in reverse? Yeah, this is beautiful. This is heavy in the upright beautiful in reverse we're realizing that this is a temporary situation and if i learn to be optimistic and look at my life in the half glass full instead of my glass is half empty your whole world will change you can do it you can do it you've got this you've got this capricorn okay what's this ace of wands in the recent past what's this ace of wands in the recent past it's the ace of pentacles okay so again, it's kind of like um, an offer and it's about another person that you didn't expect. It's like an unexpected announcement is what I'm hearing, a gift, unexpected gift or present. And that kind of got you back into good graces with somebody or their good graces back with you. It's like an apology basically happened and you're like, oh, okay, I feel good about that now. But it was a big apology with probably a very big um gift attached to it is what I'm feeling because also the six of pentacles can be um something unexpected like an unexpected money coming in an unexpected resource a person information coming in to bring something back into balance I'm hearing that you really needed or needed to hear Capricorn so that was very beneficial for you what is the six of swords here for Capricorn six of wands in reverse what's where are they going Page of Wands in reverse. There's a huge message here for you, Capricorn, your mental energy for like mental health reasons to never compare your situation where you're at right now to anybody else. Never compare your relationship right now to anybody else's. Never compare where you're at in your career, what you, what's in your bank account. None of that matters compared. That's really coming through here compared to anybody else. Because Six of Wands in reverse is where mm, I feel sad and disappointed because they have that house and that person has that like dream relationship and that person has that family and that person and they have that and they, 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 <laughs> screw it. It's about you. Your life is about you. You are the star of the show. They want me to show you the six of wands again. It's just like an entertainer being on the stage. You and your story and your life, you are the star of the show. And spirit kindly says to please show up that way. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. Why is this 10 of swords in the near future for Capricorn? What do they need to let go of? Okay, eight of pentacles. Some of you also have just been um, really, really diving too much into like work, career. Okay, um, I'm hearing to avoid some type of emotional situation here. Okay, why is the knight of cups here in the future energy for Capricorn? What is this knight of cups future energy? Moon in reverse, it came out, Pisces, Cancer energy, we get this a lot usually for you. Showing up in reverse today, which is an Ace of Swords. So it's kind of like you really, really, really where the fog has been. Um, I'm seeing like in the morning, like in the morning when you're on, your, on a drive um, and it's foggy out. It's like the fog is now, it's like you go out today, there's no fog. Something is cleared now. Something it is really, I'm hearing the word obvious to you now. Okay. What is this Knight of Cups? Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Cups? <laughs> Ace of Swords in reverse. And then the King of Wands. Okay. Some of you have this like a relationship or some type of connection that you have been confused about in the past, but only because it moves slowly. So for those of you that like to move fast in relationships, spirit is maybe suggesting um, it's okay to slow down in a relationship, okay? Okay. Why is the tower here for Capricorn? This is, this is your power right now. Seven of Wands with the tower in reverse. Very defensive energy with the King of Cups. 
um, in reverse. I kind of feel like as soon as you show your emotions, it's like that term, it's like, oh, someone showed their true colors. And I feel like someone's saying that about you, like, oh, I saw Capricorn's true colors, but your true colors were, um, you needed to like back off of some type of situation that wasn't meant for you. It's almost like you, you um, avoided a tower moment. It's like if you would have kept in this seven of wands energy and kept pushing for something and pushing for something and been a little bit like aggressive with something, um, you would have experienced quite the, um, I'm hearing turn of tables in your situation. So it's like you learned or you knew to kind of back off. Ten of swords, let something go. Very, very good. Anything else on this tower? Ten of swords and the two of cups in reverse. For a lot of you, you need to work on, it's, like, it's again about falling back in love with you right now. There is another person around, I feel like for a lot of you, that misses you, that wants to be in your good graces. But for some reason, um, you right now, Capricorn, are needing a little bit of time to yourself to reconfigure. Why is the chariot here for Capricorn? Why is the chariot here? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You don't need to make all the plans and have all the answers right now. Everyone looks to you a lot for the answers because you are devil energy. You're the master. You're very boss energy, large and in charge a lot of the time. Very similar to Aries energy in that way. And a lot of people come to you for answers right now. You don't need to have the answer for anybody but yourself. You don't need to have answers for anybody else but yourself. Why is the Five of Pentacles here in hidden uh, environment, hidden energy, lovers in reverse? This is a, a person, probably more lovey romantic, that desperately misses you. Desperately. Why is the Six of Cups here in the outcome? Nine of Swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You know that this is a soulmate that you could have it all with. You know that. Why is the Six of Wands here? Magician, Nine of Cups in reverse. There's another message here about you falling in love with you. You know how to turn this around. I kind of feel like to refocus your energy back into love, back into nurturing yourself. And then, boom, we see a victory here. Because the Nine of Cups in reverse is where you, like, maybe you in the past didn't get the best experience with this person. Maybe there was, I'm hearing like missed opportunities with this person from the past. And I also feel this message, if, message over here, this tower situation, Capricorn, like if this is about a person, like if you try to date someone in the past and they were with someone else and you were with someone else or like, or maybe there was like a work conflict that's coming through for some of you. And like, maybe you couldn't date the boss at that time or vice versa. You know what I mean? Like it was just poor timing. Now there's an opportunity to pull that together to bring that together and it feels unexpected and quite and quite like a blessing to be honest why is the queen of wands here for capricorn two of pentacles get ready to get overwhelmed because it's going to be it's going to be a lot on your plate it's going to be a lot on your plate in a good way it's going to be a lot on your plate in a good way we have the page of pentacles um again at the bottom of the deck and i feel like you and this person are coming into communication and being practical Okay, I absolutely love this for you. Let's do the pick a card, okay? So the Capricorn that won the pick a card reading this time, I hope you say your name right, is Debian Bond. Debian Bond. You are my winner. So Capricorn, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you're subscribed to my channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, I might pick you, okay? And for the rest of you, I'll either see you in the love reading where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love, or I'll see y'all in the mid-months for March, okay? Woo! <clears throat> okay, Debian, Debian Bond. We've got three more shuffles. How are you, my love? Debian, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I appreciate you dearly. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Debbie and Bond? We need one more shuffle. Debbie and Bond, Capricorn. What does Debbie and need to know right now? Thank you. 
Okay, you have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I read this in uprights. Um, very, very good. This is a wish fulfillment. Um, this is a very different vibe from this one. This is a wish fulfillment where you're feeling really happy about something. I'm hearing the word satisfied. You're like, oh yeah, I'm really satisfied with that. Like you're really happy. But I kind of feel like it's about something that you did, like a, a job well done. And like you're very proud of yourself. Like you're giving yourself a pat on the back. And I am too. You did something that was very, very good. Very, very good for yourself. And you did it. Okay, Debbie and Bond, what is this person's message? Emperor, okay, Aries energy, also that boss energy. Debbie and Bond, Debian. Emperor, Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, King of Wands. I knew we were going to have a couple here. We have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. You have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the High Priestess. I feel like you are, there's something about children here. Six of Pentacles. Oh, the Magician wanted to fly out. You've manifested this. You've created this situation. They're, they're letting me know that, Debbie, and that you've created this situation. Um, the magician flew out, which means manifestation, which means you like called this in for the universe for you. Okay. So what did you call in my love? Well, definitely you've got, I know you're a Capricorn, but we've got the King and Queen of Wands in your reading. Do you want to go like this? No, I don't like that. They want to stack your reading, but so it does look like you and this person, you and a partner, you and someone doesn't have to be a fire sign. We have a lot of fire in your energy, okay? King and Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy emphasis on Aries. So this is about some type of like, we got this, we can do this, we are in control of this. I feel like you and somebody are having an idea, an epiphany, an ace of swords, an aha moment, six of cups about children, okay? It could be um, about your past as well. Um, with the Seven of Cups, I kind of feel like you have many options to explore. I kind of am feeling like specifically, if you and someone are trying to have children or have a baby or add on to the family, whatever type of way, Debian, that there's more than one way to do this. That you can either, maybe if you either have, you know, your own children or for some reason that's not the case, Seven of Cups, like there's, um, and, and we also have the Page of Cups, which is a child showing up in one of these options and it's like High Priestess is like, you just know it. So I kind of feel like um, you might adopt a child. You might be, um, there's something I'm feeling like a boss or some type of authority figure, um, even like an uncle or a, a dad or a distant relative, a male energy, strong masculine energy for you from your past. It's like you're being granted this child. Um, I do honestly feel like there's a child about to be in your life or you have a child and you're going to have more children. Um, I kind of feel... Like it is something that you want. I do feel this this emotional sense of um, being overwhelmed with this for sure. But I feel like you and this person have not been on the same page in the past about this situation, about having children, um, about maybe adopting a child or even adopting a dog or cat or an animal. It could be that as well, but I kind of feel like it's about a child. Um I do feel, I feel pregnancy. They're showing me the pomegranates, which are very, they're basically showing me a wound here, Debian. So I don't know, again, if this is like, I almost feel like maybe, and I also feel like someone else could be having like your baby. That could be a message here as well. You know what I mean? Like if, um, what is it called? Sur surrogacy, where if maybe someone else is going to carry your baby. Because that's what the options are. Like, I feel like if you've been trying to get pregnant, please know like there's IVF and there's, I mean, I'm not a medical professional in any type of way, but I do feel like there, you have a lot of other options on how to attain this page of cups, which for me to you is coming through as a person, a younger person, a baby, a child, something like that, trying to come through. And I also feel like with this high priest, I know we're going to end this in a second. 
but Debian with this high priestess, you're also, they're giving you these ace of swords, these messages and, and, and this information also in your dreams, okay? So try to pay attention to your dreams because you're getting this as well, okay? And six of pentacles is an unexpected gift. There's two people here and it's like source angels are giving you another pentacle. Like you have the five of pentacles and now you have six. So you are gaining like a baby, a person, something that you've wanted that maybe you didn't have in the past that you might have to go, or I'm hearing roundabout in a roundabout way to get it or to have it, but it will be yours and you just know it, okay? Debian, that's your message. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all dearly and I will catch y'all next time. Lots of love, bye.